Well, we want to pray for you today. I know many of you have needs that you'd like to have prayed for, and we have some people who've written in to say, God's already spoken. This is Amanda Gordon of DeSoto, Texas. She had injured her right shoulder. There were times when the pain was so bad she had problems just raising her arm. Two months after the injury occurred, she was watching this program and she heard you give a word of knowledge. You said, you just heard the story about a shoulder being healed and you're saying, please say right shoulder. So I'm saying it for you right now. A right shoulder is being healed. Amanda took off the brace she was wearing and raised her arm without pain and has had no pain since that oh, day. Hallelujah. God. Here's one from Corpus Christi, Texas. Grace was born with eczema. Never heard of that. Born with it. She'd been living with it for 13 years. Wow. The condition was so bad as left scarring. Well, she was watching the 700 Club and Terry said, you have been suffering your whole life with extreme eczema. It's on your scalp and in different parts of your body, and it's not only unsightly, it's so uncomfortable. Well, immediately, Grace's skin began to clear, and she is praising the Lord for the healing. Amen. That is wonderful. That's a miracle, born with it. God's able to heal anything. What I love about this story is that it reinforces one of the parables in the Bible. You find it in Luke chapter 18. And it begins with, Jesus told this parable so that we would know that we should always pray and not lose heart. And the parable is the importune widow, the one who stood at the door of the unrighteous judge and banged on the door, demanding to be satisfied. And here she is, she's demanding, Lord, I need you now. I need you to hear this prayer. And she says, I, I didn't know any other thing. It's the only thing that came to mind. It's the only thing I could do. Lord, you need to hear this prayer. When you have that attitude, that, that desperation, and you know on the other side of that door, there is a God who is able when you know that. That's a prayer that gets an answer. So we're going to pray. And whatever your need is, uh, how small or how great, Let's come to a loving God, knowing he's ready, willing, and able to answer our prayer. Let's go to him now and see what he will do for you. Let's pray. Lord, we just lift the needs to you right now. And as people are reaching out and asking for restoration, asking for genetic conditions, asking for things that they were born with, asking for things that seem impossible, that medically are impossible, we join with them. And we ask right now that you would stretch forth your hand and do wonders and do miracles today. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. There's someone, you've got an obstruction in your sinus and you've just been living with it. And God is able to open sinus cavities right now in Jesus' name. Be opened and breathe freely from this day forward in the name of Jesus. Terry? There's someone named Wendy. You're asking for something very specific. <clears throat> Just God would know. But your prayer is already in the works. The answer is on its way. Believe and trust God for that. There's someone else. This may seem like a small thing, but... There's a reason God's wanting you to hear this today. You have an infection where your ear was pierced on one side, and it's really very painful, gone down into your neck. But God is not only healing your ear. He wants you to know that he knows you and sees you. He wants to be in your heart, a part of your life. Just give your life to him as well as receiving his healing today. Now, there's someone with a scalp condition that leads to scabbing and uh, it's uh, itchy and just God's just restoring your entire skin, um, your scalp, everything concerning your skin is being restored right now in Jesus' name. Someone else with a lung condition, take a deep breath in, exhale. God has just healed you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done, who you are, how you gave yourself for us. It is your body that it was broken for us that allows us to enter into your presence. Lord, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 
If you've been touched by God, we want to share in your good report, and we want to tell others of the miracles that God is doing today. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. And if you need prayer, if you need the prayer of the importune widow, you want to have someone contend with you in prayer, agree with you in prayer, all you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000. We're here for you. It's our honor, our privilege to pray with you.